Praxis in today's day 666 of this project. We had a huge snowstorm come in last night. It's actually been probably been a couple of years since we've had any real snow. In fact, uh, the weather for most of the building of this project has been really amenable to building. Uh, we haven't had to deal with a lot of big snowstorms, and even in the summertime, it hasn't really been particularly rainy. It's been dry, good building weather. But today is uh, has been a challenge. Uh, this morning, I spent uh, maybe a good hour and a little more uh, getting plowed out at the uh, temporary house. Uh, after I finished that, I uh, drove right over here and got right to work shoveling. Uh, the reason that I'm not plowing instead of instead I'm shoveling is because you know my tractor that has the plow on it is over at the other place. I haven't brought it over here yet. And uh, all the people that I've talked to about maybe plowing this for me, you know, in the interim, in, you know, until I can get my plow over here. I uh, have either um, quoted a really high price, uh, like 50 bucks, to just run down here, which I, it's a straight shot. There's not a lot of bends, there's not a lot of bumps. Uh, I, it's just a couple minutes of their time. <laughs> 50 bucks seems a little bit uh, much, and I, some people said they were just too uh, terrified of this driveway. This is not an unusual driveway in New England. I don't know, I think it just falls into the category of like a lot of the people that work in this area just suck. <laughs> uh, you know, my solution to the problem at the moment is just shoveling myself. Uh, it, it is, it's an awfully big uh, job, you know, shoveling by hand, uh, and it's just me doing it. River had, had some aspirations this morning of maybe helping me out, but uh, those sort of diminished after he got cold playing outside, and it's just me, and uh, you know, that's got to be okay. Uh, you know, I talk a lot on my channel about how, you know, you shouldn't aspire to be the you know, kind of the lone wolf off doing everything on your own. It's always good if you can have help, but you know, sometimes the reality is you just don't have help and you just gotta do it on your own. Uh, and there's pros and cons to it, uh, you know, with us getting this big snowstorm. Uh, one of the pros is I'm getting a lot of good exercise, shoveling, uh, as long as you do it properly and take some breaks like I am right now, uh, you can get some good exercise, shoveling. Um, another pro is that the well line is all covered in, this is probably, almost 20 inches of snow. We've got about 20 inches of snow on the well line, and while snow is frozen water, it is also a really good insulator. So my fears about the well line freezing up uh, are you know, set aside, at least for now, while we keep the snow cover, uh, because between this and the leaves and the cardboard I put on, uh, I'm not concerned that we're gonna have any freeze up. If you have bare ground and it gets really cold, that's when you can have the freeze up problems, but you got a nice big blanket of snow on it, and you don't have to worry about the freeze ups. Um, obviously one of the downsides of getting this much snow is that I'm probably going to work the majority of the day today and not, you know, do a single thing on the house in there. Uh, you know, just want to get this set up. As far as the uh, inspections go, we still are waiting on those last two inspections before we can get the final. Smoke detector, no one's heard from them. The uh, uh, plumbing inspection, people have heard from them. They just are having emergencies, one emergency after another. And I think the snowstorm probably qualifies as an emergency for a lot of people as well. So hopefully we're going to see them sooner than later. Uh, tomorrow I can start sealing the floors on the second level. Uh, and it's just going to be a race between, you know, do the floors finish first and we're ready to move in? Or do the inspections happen, which would allow us to move in? So I don't know. I mean, the inspections could just all start suddenly happening and, you know, one, two, three, they're done, or, you know, it's gonna be weeks and weeks of me calling people and asking when they're gonna show up. But at the moment, I just have one thing to focus on, which is all the driveway behind you. I'm not sure how long that is, 300 yards or so? Uh, shoveling's not actually that big a deal when it's making a path for a person. It's when you, you're making a path for a car that it's hard. You know, making a human-sized path, that's not a big deal. That's it, thanks for watching.